Welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween. If you knew, what's up? This is a channel where I tell the most craziest, ridiculous stories that have ever happened to me. And if you're not, hey, I miss you. Welcome back. I'm glad you came back to support me <laughs> in my all my ridiculous adventures called life. But um, pretty much, without further ado, we're going to hop into this story time about me surviving my ex house because like some days i really didn't think i was gonna make it out because it was it was crazy so i started living with my ex in november of 2020 when i, I started living with him was it no yeah it was november it was like mid november because i remember it was like a few days before thanksgiving and I ended up moving in with him. At first, I'm like, okay, cool. This is dope. You know, I'm living with my, my boyfriend at the time. I'm like, look, who don't want to live with their boyfriend? Like, it was dope. Like, we was cool. It seemed fun. Everybody seemed cool at first. Blase, blase. But, we about to talk about his crazy family members from, like, least crazy to crazy. So... Let's start with least crazy. We're going to talk about, you know, his youngest brother, or should I say the youngest family member, <laughs> Jeremiah. Okay, now, <laughs> Jeremiah was more, I can't really say Jeremiah was crazy, but he was annoying as fuck. So, Jeremiah pretty much. Me and my ex, we used to eat out all the motherfucking time because, I mean, shit, we had the money to do so. And, like, plus, I didn't really like eating out their kitchen because they was dirty as hell. They, they, they was nasty. Like, I can't believe I stayed there so long. But, so, we always ate out. And he used to always be, like, bugging, like, oh, shit, can I get some food? Or try to get up in our mini fridge and shit and try to steal shit, thinking he's slick when we sleep. But, like, low-key, I'll be waking up like, hey, what the fuck is you doing? Like, you better get the fuck out here stealing food or, like, asking for water. Because we had water bottles. We had, bitch, we had a whole bunch of snacks. And we was always eating out and stuff like that. So, we pretty much had the room stacked with snacks and shit. And he used to always try to come in there. And that shit used to bug me. Like, damn, bitch, Jeremiah, get you some business, for real. And it was just, he was just really annoying. But other than that, he wasn't really no crazy, like, you know, he wasn't crazy. Like, he was just annoying as fuck. So, I got to put him at the, at the bottom of the list of the crazies. And so, the second crazy, we got, we got Chloe. Chloe, I ain't gonna lie, out of all of the family members, Chloe was my favorite. Because, well, I can't really say favorite. I just, she was my least person that I did. I got along with her, I got to say. I did get along with her. <laughs> yeah, we did get along. She was pretty much the only one I got along with, really. But everybody else, I was like, ugh, I'm not fucking with them. Y'all weird, crazy, uh-uh. But the reason she on this list to begin with, because, like, <sighs> she, let me tell you, so one day, I woke up and you know I went to the bathroom and when I opened the door I was in fucking shock like it was blood everywhere like I mean everywhere like it was blood on the sink it was blood on the floor all over the floor it was blood on the toilet it was blood on a shower curtain it was just blood everywhere like I thought somebody really hurt themselves or, like, something real serious that had happened in this bathroom. I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Like, what the fuck happened in here? Like, who the fuck died? Like, because it literally looked like that. It looked like a whole murder scene done took place in that bathroom. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So, before I left the bathroom to go tell Jacob, who was my uh, boyfriend at the time, I'm like, um, yeah, bitch, it's blood everywhere. <laughs> Before I left, I see motherfucking a period pad on the floor, like drenched in blood. 
I'm like, who the fuck that had their period all over the bathroom floor? And y'all, before y'all, like, don't try to cancel me, like, because I respect women. And, you know, I know how hard it is to be on your period. I know, well, I can't really say I know what y'all going through, but, like, I know it's tough. You know, I don't want y'all to think, like, I'm bashing people on their menstruals or women. I, I love I love women. I respect y'all. But, like, this don't, being on your period don't give you, like, what's the word? A pass to be no dirty, foul bitch, period. And that. And that's what that was. That was very dirty and foul. Like, I was disgusted. I'm like, wow. Like, I really thought something bad happened, which technically it did. Like, it was blood everywhere. So I'm like, uh, Jacob, like, come look at this bathroom. He come and look, right? Tell me why he uh, looking. He like, oh. Um. I'm like, oh. I'm like, the way your reaction was, like, this seemed like this is not the first time that this done happened. He like, it's not. So, I'm thinking it's his, uh, his other sister, Jenna. Nah, bitch. He's like, nah, it's Chloe. I'm like, oh, Chloe. I was so disappointed because I, like, I really liked her and, ooh, sorry. And I had a lot of respect for her because as a person, because I'm like, I was just shook. Like, I'm still shook to this day. I low-key, and that's not her first time doing that, y'all. That's not her first time doing that. That was just, like, she did that many more times as I was there at the house. But I low-key might put um, one of the, because I didn't take a picture of the first time I caught it. I think I ended up taking, like, a picture the second time where it wasn't as much blood. But the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, my motherfucking God. Like, it was real crazy. Like, I was in shock. I was in shock. I might put it up. I might put that picture up. I don't know because, like, y'all, that picture really nasty. And I know a lot of y'all be eating while y'all watch me and stuff like that. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna spare y'all this time. I'm not gonna put the, no picture up because it's like it's blood. You two might, I don't know, give me a motherfucking strike, and we don't want that. So I'm gonna just let leave that to y'all imagination because y'all don't want to see that for real, for real. So on to the third family member, <sighs> Dion. We gotta talk about Dion. So Dion. He was actually the reason why me and my ex, or my boyfriend at the time, we had our first rough patch. And I think this was before I even really started living with him for real, but I was always over there or whatever. And so this man pretty much, he was a pedophile. He was a pedophile. So the cops end up pulling up. Not even cops, bitch. The FBI showed up talking about some, yeah, bitch. We looking, we've been watching such and such on this laptop. Looking up, looking at child pornography. And another bunch of crazy stuff like how to hide a body. Like how to get rid of a body. It was a whole bunch of like weird ass shit. But it could mainly consist of child pornography, which I'm like, oh my God. And since I was 17 at the time, I couldn't go to the house no more because the cops was like, if you're under 18 and you're not a family member, you can't be showing up. You can't be here because he was there. Because they ended up putting his ass on house arrest or whatever the fuck. Yeah, they had him on house arrest and I couldn't be over here. And I was low key kind of hurt. Like, I'm like, damn. If I can't be over your house and, you know, because he really could have had a camera in my house. I mean, he could, but not as often as I could come over his. So, I almost broke up with him because of that. Because I was like, damn, like, what the fuck? I'm like, your brother weird. And I can't even be around you because I'm underage. So, like, what the fuck am I finna do? 
Bitch, he ended up, first of all, he ended up getting this. First, let me tell y'all, ain't this man, he was like 21. Shot State. That man 21. Pretty much all his, his family members are grown. They pretty much grown. I want to say the youngest is Jeremiah, and he's 17. Uh, and then you had Chloe. I didn't say her age. She, She's actually the oldest of all the family members. I want to say she's like 20, 25, 26. And you got Dion. He's um 21, 22 now. So after that, when I finally became of age, I mean, I, I started going back over there again. And, you know, as I'm going back over there... He was just, oh, uh, he ended up talking to this white girl, which she was underage. She was like, she was like 17. And I'm like, how are you 21 talking to this 17 year old, especially if you are now a registered, registered sex offender? Now, if this white girl screen rape, you going to jail for a life. Like, it's over with. Like, you are really done. I don't know why she stuck with, beside that man. I don't know. They, I guess they was kind of, no, bitch. They was not. They was a weird looking ass couple. I'm not even gonna lie like that. They was weird. And plus they, they was smoking cigarettes. I'm like, uh, like this y'all, this young old ass couple, y'all over here smoking cigarettes. Like I was just, yo, they was just nasty and drinking. And Dion used to drink so fucking much to the point where he would be barfing all over the bathroom. It used to be barf all over the toilet and on the floor. And then he would just walk out that bitch and not clean it up. I was just so disgusted, but like, I used to be having the back of my ex like, oh my God, can you like, please clean that up, like, please, cause like, this is nasty as fuck, and I already know none of y'all family was finna do it, cause they was some dirty ass bitches, like, they was dirty as hell, just dirty, like, some of the dirtiest people I done ever met, just know. So, yeah, he used to get super dry, super wasted, pedophile, house arrest, all of that. So, are we on the fourth family member now? Aaron. <laughs> Aaron was pretty much like the father of the house almost. Even though he was the second oldest. But he pretty much ran the household. He ran the household and kept shit in order. Like, he was trying to check it for, like, Jeremiah and Jacob. To do, you know, do they schoolwork and stuff. And, like, be with it. Be on it. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it was. He was pretty much, like, the parent. Like, the father figure to the kids. Because Frank, which we're going to talk about him last. Because <laughs> the father couldn't do it, apparently. <laughs> so... The reason he for is because I just feel like he trifling and crazy as fuck because during me and Jacob's relationship, I don't know if he was test, te you know, actually I do know because before me and Jacob got together, I was on, you know, Grinder of course, which ugh, I was on Grinder and probably a lot of these motherfucking stories. Like, I, oh, I'm glad I'm so done with that app. But uh, anyway, I was on Grinder. And I end up meeting, not meeting, ooh. The brother ended up texting me, right? And I am texting him back, and you know, because after looking at his pictures, I'm like, mm, you're not really my type. So, you know, I pretty much curved him, and that was pretty much that. And so, it's a small fucking world. So, after I end up finding out, after me and Jacob done been dating for like over a month and stuff, I end up finding out that's his brother. I'm like, oh, wow. So, I'm like, this is crazy. So, I felt like the brother kind of fell some way because I'm like, he was probably like, damn, why the fuck you ain't choose me? Like, why you ain't fuck with me and you fuck with my younger brother? So, I guess he felt some type of way because, you know, he liked me. And during our whole relationship, he used to always try to bust in a room, be weird and stuff. And when Jekyll used to not leave, he used to try to come talk to me. And I used to try to tell my ex that shit. But he just did not believe me. And that shit was bothering me. Because I was like, damn. Why the fuck you not finna, like, defend me from your brother? Like, tell your brother to, like, get the fuck. Because I don't really want to tell him. Because I'm not trying to be rude. Because I'm living in y'all house rent free. And I'm not trying to get kicked out. Because I really didn't have nowhere else to go. So, 
I pretty much wanted him to like be like, yeah, uh, bro, I don't need you to chill the fuck out because that is my man and I need you to go somewhere if I have to. I don't know. He didn't have to do all of that, but you know, so his brother like, leave me the fuck alone. Stop being weird. And then plus, me and, and me and him end up getting into it um, towards the end of my stay. No, not towards the end because this situation happened in May of 2021. This year, May of 20, May of this year. So it was um, my ex's birthday, and pretty much they waited down there all day to tell this man happy birthday. It was like seven o'clock, and this was the time where I ate my dinner. Like not even dinner, bitch. My lunch and breakfast because. This was my first and only meal of the day, because like, yeah, we if if we eat in fast food, we can only eat once a day, pretty much. Cause I'm like, that'd be spending too much money to eat like three different meals a day, and plus, one meal pretty much filled me up for the rest of the day, especially Chipotle, cause that's what he used. No, cause I think I had Popeyes that day. Yeah, I had some Popeyes. It was good. But so when I finally got my food. That's when everybody like, okay, we about to wish Jacob a happy birthday. And I'm like, oh, okay, y'all, go ahead and do that while I eat. Because I already wished him a happy birthday before and all y'all motherfuckers did. So go ahead and do that. And the brother was pretty So Jacob ended up coming back in the room and was like, um, they want you to come wish me happy birthday with them. And I'm like, um, I'm eating right now. They don't have to wait or like, they could just go without me. And so he like, okay, he left out. Two minutes later, he come back and he's like, um, they say you gotta come out now because you need to be here. Like, I'm like, no, like, I'm eating, like, you bothering the fuck out of me, like, let me eat in peace. That's when, before Jacob could leave, his brother came up behind him, like, you need to get your ass up and come wish him happy birthday because, um, that's the least you can do. Since you're not paying no rent. Bitch. First of all. You don't pay no rent in here either. Okay. That's what we need to get straight. Like you're not paying no rent in here either. And you older than me. You a grown ass man. You damn near like what? 24. He was like 24 at the time. 25. So. Why the fuck are you still living with your parents anyway? Let's talk about that. Not saying you can't live with your parents. You know at an older age I mean but that's a, if you like going to college like if you working like what are you doing so he wasn't really doing nothing with his life he was just there grown ass man still living with his dad like and so I'm like I'm gonna get up when I'm ready like you're not gonna rush me and I'm like you know what matter of fact I'm not doing it at all now and then he gonna walk off I forgot what he said he ended up mumbling some shit on his breath that was some sneaky shit and you know I probably would have beat his ass if I wasn't eating cause he really had me fucked up I mean he was tall and he was like not skinny but like average bill but he still would have got these hands for real cause he really pissed me off I was like you know what bad I'm like next time I see him it's really on site but I'm, after like I end up sleeping on it I'm like you know what I'm not gonna do that to your brother because <laughs> if I do that I'm getting kicked out for sure I'm gonna get kicked out and i don't want to mess up my living situation right now especially living rent free so after that you know he used to be trying to like talk to me still and like wave and shit and i used to have to get that nigga to stink eye before i like cuss him out i'm like bitch i remember what the fuck you said you know came at me talking crazy just to wish somebody a motherfucking happy birthday like man but that cheap ass cake they got him too. The cake was cheap. But like they got it from Jewel Oscar. And I mean Jewel Oscar okay good, but like they really like they did him dirty. Like his cake was like busted. Like it was it was a gallon of cake. So especially since it was like, you know, supposed to be for his 18th birthday, you would think they would have went all out. But they didn't. So it's whatever. So on to the nastiest sibling of them all, like, the most dirty bitch, I mean, most dirty bitch, she was so fucking dirty, she gotta be the most dirtiest female I know, she was so fucking nasty, 
And y'all probably th thinking like, damn, what's finna trump Chloe with her like period blood all over the bathroom, murder scene ass. Like, bitch, let me this girl Jenna, y'all. This girl Jenna. Bitch. She was so fucking dirty. And she was pretty much the mother of all the pets because she was in control of the pets. We had not we shit. They had like six fucking cats. They had six cats, two dogs, I wanna say about four turtles. Um they had some fish. And then in a the backyard bitch, they had roosters, geese, and ducks. And they had a fucking bearded fucking lizard or whatever the fuck it's called. It. Bearded dragon. What, whatever the fuck that shit called. It was a lizard, bitch. It was weird or creepy. And. But they ended up eating the fucking ducks. Because one day it wasn't no food in the house. And they was like, yeah, we just gonna eat the ducks. What type of. What? What the fuck? That's supposed to be your pet. You just don't have a pet. And then when you get hungry, you like, yeah, we just gonna eat that bitch. Oh, bitch, and they had chickens. Did I forget? Did I say chickens already? They had chickens, too, in that bitch. But they decided to eat the motherfucking ducks. That's where, like, not saying that I would, like, probably go over in the backyard and kill the chickens if I was hungry. Because, you know, I love me some animals. And, I mean, if it's already dead, like, I'm going to eat it. Like, I'm not going to let it go to waste. But I'm not going to be killing it. And then eating it like that, like, no, like, I need to be, like, fresh off the stove. Like, I can't do not fresh off the body. Like, I can't. Like, mm, mm It was just, it was nasty. But anyway, back to this dirty bitch, Jenna. She was pretty much the mother of the pets. And she was dirty as hell. Her room was dirty as shit. It was so fucking dirty. And she stank so bad. Like, she smelled like dirty pussy, like... Oh, when I think about it, I'm just like, oh, like she just really was like, for you to be a woman, like, it's like you really gotta like really keep up with your body because like, it could get real like bad down there for y'all. And I'm like, it's that's something you really gotta work on as a woman. Like, you really gotta keep it in check because your pH balance. You gotta keep that looking right and tight and like pretty and nice. And I already know her shit was busted. And plus, I don't even think she really ever wear panties on. Like she used to always have on this big overall t-shirt dress. Like the t-shirt so big that it looked like a dress over her. And she was, oh, she was busted looking like. She was the most. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not even gonna put her pictures up because she was so busted. And I feel like that is so mean. That is so mean. I'm not gonna do her like that. But she was, she was real ugly. Probably one of the ugliest people I ever. The bitch looked like a, a troll. Like she was ugly as hell. And then I, me and her ended up getting into it one day, over um, cause I think she was talking shit about me and Jacob on Facebook about how we, me and him used to be arguing at night. And I had to let her know, like, bitch, keep my name out your mouth, ho. I think I'm gonna put the messages up here and then, you know, y'all can go ahead and pause the video and read through them. And then, look, I also got the pictures of how dirty her motherfucking room was. Just trifling. Like, how can you, like, live in that? Like, how can you, like, sleep in that? Be comfortable? Like, it was just her room. Y'all, she was dirty. She was so fucking dirty. And on the pets, y'all, the pets, they used to leave shit and piss everywhere. And people would not clean it up. Like, the living room, not even the living room, because the, the back room had shit all over the floor and piss stains. I think I got a picture of that. Ugh. I hope y'all done with y'all snacks by now, for real, because I'm going to put the video in like up in, like, five seconds. And so... Ugh. Stop eating, or I hope you don't eat it, because, like, boom. It was just real fucking nasty, like, uh, like, 
they were just dirty. Like, if you're going to have pets, you need to be able to take care of them, bathe them, all of that. Like, they wasn't taking care of their pets. And I'm like, low-key, somebody needs to call PETA on them hoes because they are horrible at taking care of pets. Bitch, they horrible at taking care of themselves because did none of them bitches really ever bathe. They was dirty. They was some dirty-ass people, like, which leads me on to my, what was it, sixth family member, which is the father. He was the dirtiest out of them all. And the reason I say he was the dirtiest is because as a parent, why are you letting your kids, not even just regular kids, kids, but you got grown-ass kids. How old was Jenna, y'all? Like, 23? Because I don't think I said her most of the age. So, boom. She was 23, I think. But, like, you got all these grown-ass kids in their 20s, early 20s, mid-20s. And you just letting them run around and be some dirty-ass people. Like, he didn't give a fuck, y'all. He didn't give a fuck. Like, this man was weird and dirty. And I think he had, like, mental problems low-key. It was just real... It was bad. It was, like, real bad. Like, and he... He smelled so bad. So bad. He smelled worse than Jenna. And Jenna, her ass was, like... She was foul. He smelled so bad that when he walked past, like... The smell of him walking past would stay in that area for, like, a good 30 seconds because he smells so bad. Like, he would leave a trail of stank. Like, he was just a dirty human being. Like, just real trifling and nasty. Like, I remember mean, one time he walked past, like, bitch, I almost passed out. I really did. I got lightheaded and all. I had to grab onto the wall because I'm like, ugh. Oh. Bitch, I thought I got attacked by caustic or something. I was like, oh my god. I was really like on the verge of dying. Literally just from him walking past. It was really like horrific. It was bad. But um, yeah. It's fine. You know, I'm back with my mom now. Which is good. And if y'all want to know how I got back here, y'all need to go watch my, not my last video, but my second to last video where my ex tried to kill me if y'all didn't see that what y'all doing y'all need to go watch that like go watch that asap because that was a really good that was a really good video and, I, and I, i'm gonna need y'all go watch that but yeah that will conclude me on surviving the house my ex's house in fact and oh before i conclude this video y'all y'all probably thinking like well was your ex dirty Honestly, I feel like he probably was a dirty person, low-key, on the low. But I feel like because I was there, he was really, he like he really kept up with his hygiene and stuff. Because, you know, I'm not finna just let him like, um, did you brush your teeth today? <laughs> um, I know you're not finna just lay in the bed after you shower. I'm need you get uh, after you got off work. I'm need you to shower. So that's pretty much how I was. Especially if you finna come home after work and, like, try to, like, fuck on me. Like, I'm gonna need you to, like, wash your dick. Like, wash your ass. Like, I'm gonna need you to, like, get yourself together. So, yeah, y'all. That will conclude, like, <laughs> the story time of me surviving my ex's house. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Like, if you don't watch my videos and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Like, you was here, you coming back. Like, you know you enjoy yourself, enjoying your time with me, and, you know, and the other time travelers in the comments. Ooh, ooh, before I even finish this, I want to tell y'all, you know, I love how y'all always come and, you know, y'all text me and y'all DM me on Instagram, Snapchat, and, you know, all my other social media and stuff and tell me how good the video was and stuff like that or y'all got questions. Uh, y'all message me, but I feel like y'all Can y'all look he like stop doing that can y'all like if y'all got a question Or like a comment leave like leave it in my actual comments on the video I want to read y'all comments on the video. Don't DM me And tell me like what y'all like how y'all feel or what y'all thinking like put it in the comments and I'll respond Because I respond to every single last comment like I'm not going to miss a comment Like I will literally respond like 
literally like i'll be quick with it too like i see all y'all comments and oh if you made it through this whole video leave a pumpkin but anyways see y'all later time travelers and i'll catch y'all on the next story time